Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. We're going to be talking about this Mercedes-Benz ML350 CDI. It's silver in colour with black leather interior. It does have the AMG pack. It's also got the beautiful big five-spoke alloy wheels. Memory electric driver and passenger seat. And it does have the air pneumatic suspension. So you've got comfort and soft. And at the click of a button, the car will raise by several centimetres. It doesn't have a low range transfer case, but again, the click of that button, it'll adapt the electronic stability program for being on dirt or sand. It does have Bluetooth, a reverse camera, and it's done 103,000 kilometers since it was new. It's got factory entertainment in the back. So as you can see, you've got the screens in the back there, which is certainly very good to have for long trips. Uh, it's got Harman Kardon sound system and factory Mercedes-Benz roof racks. It's got continental tyres all round. It does have a factory tow bar. I think these are becoming pretty good value for money. The click of the button, you can open up the boot. It's got the rear plastic mat, which is probably why the carpet's in such beautiful condition. The back seats fold down. And uh, it doesn't actually have the electric tailgate. What it does have is soft close. So if you don't close it properly, if you look on the side here, It's, uh, it's got what's called soft close, so it'll actually close itself once it gets to the end there. Which was first seen on the S-Class Mercedes, the W140 series in the 1990s. But it's a very good thing to have. Silver with black interior is also a great colour combination. Easy to keep clean. The interior looks very good on this car. Uh, it does have a great service history. So it's got navigation, Bluetooth, as I mentioned earlier. It's got the seven-speed gearbox with the paddles on the steering wheel so you can change gear. And it's a 2010 model. It's got Xenon headlights and the AMG body kit as well, obviously, the same as the ML63. Parking sensors front and back. You can tell when they've got the Xenon headlights because you've got the cutout here at the top of the bumper. Uh, we had it checked over by a mechanic and it's just been serviced. We did replace one shock absorber. And they've come a long way with their air pneumatic suspension. I believe the rear shock absorber was only about $600. I say only because they used to be a lot more expensive than that. They used to be about anywhere from $1,500 to $2,000, especially with the hydraulic ABC systems. But it's a very impressive car. Reliable, economical, some great features. You know, the entertainment in the back would have been a couple of thousand dollars. So we certainly think it's very good buying indeed. We can help you with finance. We're only 15 to 20 minutes from Sydney Airport. We do specialise in European cars, mainly Mercedes-Benz. So I've been doing this for a long time. If you'd like to come in to have a look at this car, we can take you for a test drive. Or if you're interstate, you can even leave a deposit subject to seeing the car. But we appreciate you taking the time to watch our video. And we look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks for watching.